evening, Lizzy boys, and welcome back to my channel. Emmy and Laurel are still there because I forgot to put them away after I finished my review. My live in concert, Sasha has a shirt now, courtesy of one of my friends on Instagram. And also some new pants, because her old ones look disgusting and these ones do not. But that's not what's important. What is important is I finally got Georgia. I had to order her from Best Buy. I finally took the L and I just ordered her online. Totally worth it, though, because I think I got the lip variant I wanted. Mm, mwah, love her. So now that Miss Georgia is in hand, it's time for a review, and I'm going to do what every other reviewer does and put her in her second outfit, because, let's face it, her first outfit is not very good. I don't know why they switched it from this to that. Really not a good decision, but, um, you know. Fortunately, it's a doll. Can change the clothes. Very good. Very nice. But before that, really quick, I would like to get an opinion from my comment section, so if you watch this part of the video, please comment below what you think. I'm thinking of opening a P.O. box so I can do fan mail openings on camera. I think it'd be fun and a nice way to connect with you all. You could send me letters. Pretty much you could send me anything, just nothing inappropriate, you know? So basically, I just want to know what you guys think. Would you send me something if I did open a P.O. box? And yeah. Anyway, with that, we can officially get on with her review now, because I am so excited to unbox this doll and play with her very curly hair. So like I've been doing with all my Series 3 dolls, I opened the box to make sure that her arms work. They did, so that's why she's posed a little weirdly. I tried to like get her back in the position, but then I realized, oh wait, that doesn't matter. I'm opening her anyway. <laughs> I just always check them now before I like totally unbox them. You know, just to make sure I don't have to return them to the store or something, because once again, she has not been showing up in my area, and the only reason I got her is because I ordered her online from Best Buy. But yeah, very glad that she was not broken. We've all seen the back of the box by now, but I just want to say that I adore George's artwork. She looks so cute. She looked a lot cuter in her second outfit, but her first outfit, it's not that bad in the artwork. I just really hate the way the RHs are stamped all over the pants. It looks so unnecessary because it could have just been regular pants and been fine. But whatever, I'm getting ahead of myself. I know y'all hate when I complain. Um, I like everyone else's artwork too, except for hers. She looks really boring. And Daphne has a huge forehead for no reason. I still don't have Daria. I've yet to see Daria and Cheryl in person. Georgia is an exception because I ordered her online. Nee, gotta keep mentioning that. Shit. Welcome to Rainbow High, the colorful art school full of bold fashions and even bolder drama. Why is it in French? Why'd they- okay, so Spanish is down here. <laughs> I was about to say, why is French here? And then I noticed the Spanish. Okay. Here's her barcode for those of y'all who can't find her either. Good luck. I can't scan things at my Walmart because they- People were doing the devious licks challenge at my Walmart before it was even a thing. All of the price checking devices got like stolen or something. That's what they told me at least. Maybe it was a lie to get rid of me, but the machines were like missing, so eh. And they're still not back. But anyway, now that we've looked over every inch of George's box, including this massive dent in her box. <laughs> yeah, mine is a huge dent right here. I don't I don't know why. Very large dent. But it's okay. Look at her name. It's so cute. Okay, time to open her. So because I poorly put the boxes back together, it's pretty easy to open them again after I've confirmed that they're okay. Shit, it keeps falling on me. So from here, I just use my brute force and... Oh no, I can't. There's tape over here. Let's get the tape out. Then I use my brute force and look at her. There she is. Oh, she's so cute. She has a speck of glitter on her face. Confirming that both of her arms move properly. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Her arms are good. Also, this material feels like shit. Oh my god. I, I don't like her cardigan. Her legs work as well. Totally fine. No weird popping noises like with Emmy. That's nice. Are your legs still making the popping noises? I just checked her and they are, but she's not the focus of this video, Georgia is. Why is that speck of glitter still on your face? Get off. Okay, good. Oh my god, she's so cute! I love her hair so much. Her little clips don't look as tightly secured as they could be, but I guess it's because they're not like real hair clips, they're just like little things that go on her hair. I was hoping that they would stick a little more closely to her head, but they kind of only do on this side, but that's just because the way her hair falls. 
It's a minor thing. It's a very minor little thing. I didn't expect her to look just like the art, obviously, because, you know, that's just artwork. You can make anything work in artwork. Um, her cardigan's not that bad, I guess. Oh, her nails are painted, aren't they? Yes. They're very... Oh, mine has a very bad paint job. <laughs> it's not focusing, but, like, they painted her fingers rather than her nails. <laughs> Oh, poor girl. Georgia does not have earrings. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping she had some little peach-shaped earrings or something hiding beneath her hair. I guess they decided that giving her clips and a whole purse was enough. Which, like, yes, it is, but still. Sometimes we want a little more than just a purse, you know? Help! What is this stuck on? Wow, I actually had to fight that one. Oh, is that, like, Gorilla glued in? No, it's just the normal weird pissed-colored glue. And this pops out like nothing. All right. I see how it is. <laughs> oh, her brush is peach color. That's so cute. I just grabbed her stand out of the box and the bag just totally fell open. But I also noticed that her stand is not one... Her stand. Her hanger is not one of the variants that says rainbow on it. Um, for what I'm talking about, see, Emmy's has rainbow written on it. And so does Daphne's. You can see the text in there. But Georgia's does not. It's a very minor detail. I guess one of the other things about it is that it does not have RH put up here. It's a completely different mold, actually. That's interesting. This piece is, of course, the same. But yeah, it's cool that they're doing a variant with the hangers now. I don't really care, but it's funky fresh, I suppose. Hold that for me. We're switching you over. Before that, we may as well take a look at her in her first outfit. I'm seriously not a fan of it. Um, it's not bad by any means. I like the peach shirt. Um, her cardigan's okay. I just don't like the material because of how much, like, stuff just, like, it's got, like, a lot of little flyaway strings. You know, like, it's got, like, that weird fuzzy residue that just kind of, like, pops off of it all the time. That's, like, my least favorite material for anything, even blankets. Um, again, you already know I don't like the pants. I just feel like just stamping RH all over a plain, a pair of plain pants is really boring. Like, didn't they brand her enough by putting RH all over her socks and all over her shoes? Like, especially these shoes. It just says rainbow, 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 Yeah. I feel bad for these rainbow high girls. They have to be walking advertisements for their schools or they're not allowed in, I guess. Like, even her clips, one of them says rainbow. One of them says rainbow. One of them says sparkle. There's one that says love, and that kind of, like, tells us what she is. She's a hopeless romantic, which is cute for her. Love that for her, actually. I love her. God, she's so pretty. Help. <laughs> God, she's really on par with Bella in terms of, like, the beauty department. Yeah, I still like this top a lot. Um, the socks are cute, too. I think I might actually keep them when I'm putting together her second outfit. Just because I think they'd look nice with the shoes. Also, wearing sneakers without socks feels kind of weird. These pants are definitely still my least favorite piece. If they didn't say RH all over them, they would be cute. It's just the fact that they're branded all over that doesn't help. Her cardigan's cute too. I actually think I might try to put it with this just to see how it looks. So yeah, let's try that out. Oh my god, her top is two pieces. Oh, that's cute. I think I heard about this, but I like forgot. Aw, good for you. You have a bra. I feel like something looks really off about her legs. I can't pinpoint what because her feet don't look like it's two left feet or something. But I don't know, it's just like the way they like touch each other like that. That's just the way she stands regularly, I don't, I don't know what to do. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, I love her second outfit so much. This is honestly the best pick for her. Mm. Adding the socks also I feel like helps her feel a little more complete. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna try the cardigan. Also, I think my one critique about the second outfit is that the skirt limits her leg motion a lot. I can only put her legs like this or like they're doing the weird pigeon toed thing 24-7. Not that that's bad though. This definitely like is a cute pose for her. I promise I'm not complaining. I love her a lot. God, it was so hard to get her to hold this. Um, I appreciate what they were doing, giving it like making the purse out of fabric and then giving it like plastic handles. But God, that makes it so much harder for the doll to hold it. Wow, <laughs> that was difficult. Okay. Oh my God, do her eyes have a little bit of pink in them? 
my god, she's so pretty. How did they make such a pretty doll? Thank god I still have Daphne's box. I was able to get the perfect thumbnail photo because of it. <laughs> yeah, I just realized I remember I said I was going to put this on her. This review is not over. Oh, I did notice something, though. Her jacket has, like, a bunch of little rings around it. They're, like, little shiny things. If it'll, like, focus... My camera is seriously the worst, but there's like a bunch of little shiny things. Like, look, see, here's one. It's like a little sequin or some shit. I don't know. Put that on. Okay, yeah, she looks cute like this. So basically, all of her pieces work together except for those tacky ass pants. <laughs> yeah, I love Georgia so much. Oh my god. It's a lot of fun to like mix her pieces together and see what works and what doesn't. You know? I'm not gonna do all that in this video. I don't want it to be like 20 minutes long. But yeah. Overall, if you guys want her, definitely go for it. She's available on Best Buy's website, and some people are lucky enough to find her at Walmart. Not me, though. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!